Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the Your Chicago Land Living Show. My name is Sophia Ujupu, real estate broker, coach, and entrepreneur. Welcome. Today we're going to talk all about the property tour. Getting ready for your tour. Exciting. All right. So the first step is to make sure before everyone gets in the car that you use the bathroom. Yeah, you've got to use the bathroom. Make sure you've eased yourself because you don't want to get to the property and use the seller's bathroom. You don't want to get to a vacant home and find out that the water is shut off and you can't even use the bathroom. And if you do, you can't flush. So make sure everyone has gone to the bathroom and they're all relaxed and ready to go. That's number one. And then number two, make sure you've gotten all the items you need or that you're going to need during the property tour. Number one item is to bring socks, footsies. If you're gonna see five homes, try to get footsies for the, each home. Now I say that because first of all, they sell them in packs. So you can get the footsies that are look like pantyhose or you can get the footsies that are socks, footsies. And the reason why I ask you to do that is oftentimes when you get to the property, the seller does not want you, the homeowner does not want you walking around their home with your shoes on. And sometimes they put out boots Boot, booties that you can use on your to cover your shoe covers to cover your shoes but sometimes when you get there they're all used up so they're dirty you can't use them so be prepared come with your footsie stock socks so that when you get there you'll be quite comfortable you can take off your shoes and put on those socks and also the reason why I ask you to bring several is so that you don't use the same socks in one home and then use it in a different home. So um, they're washable, so you can get a couple of packs for everyone and just be prepared with your socks or footsies. That's number one item. Then the second item that you wanna take is hand sanitizer. In this COVID-19 period, people do, we advise the sellers to put out hand sanitizer, but we also, ask that you as a home buyer that's looking going on a property tour to bring your own hand sanitizer. This is good so that before you enter the home, you sanitize your hands. When you're leaving the home, you also sanitize your hands just in case they don't have any or it's just better to just have your own. Then the third item that we recommend um, that you bring are gloves. So when you're in the home, you're probably going to be opening up appliance like the refrigerator door, you might be opening up cabinets, you might be, you know, handling door handles and stuff like that. So you might want to bring gloves along with you. And if, again, enough gloves for everyone, enough gloves to change when you go from home, house to house. Okay, so you've got your gloves, you've got your hand sanitizer, you've got your um, footsies, and basically you are all set. Oh, do not, do not forget your masks. Always bring your mask with you. We do advise the sellers or homeowners to leave out some masks, but that doesn't always happen. So bring your own mask. So you've got your mask, your hand sanitizer, your gloves, and your footsies. All ready to go. So almost time to get into the car. Now, the other thing that we, the third thing that we recommend is that you leave small children at home. You can, if you have an infant that you carry around with you, that's fine, but toddlers and just kids that are curious and want to touch everything and want to play in the home is probably not appropriate. So we ask that you maybe get a babysitter or find a family member that can stay with them while you quickly go and look at houses. Or if you bring them along, let them stay in the car and, you know, come look at the car, um, at the home and then come back out. Work it out somehow so that the kids are not in the home um, during the property tour. 
And then the fourth thing that we ask is that if you're ill, you've got the sniffles, you've got the flu or whatever it is that you have, it's better to reschedule. Better not to come to a property tour sick because you might get other people sick the homeowner and their family you never know what situation or medical situation people have so if you're sick stay home you can either if they're like a couple of you maybe the one person that is not sick that comes to the tour can maybe put on the camera and show you stuff and talk to you or even the agent can do that but we highly recommend that if you are sick stay home or reschedule if you must okay so you're not sick you've got all your items your mask your everything um, you've eased yourself you've used the washroom and you're ready to go off you go right into the car and just before you come to the home you guys might want to decide where you want to start your tour do you want to start in the basement do you want to start on the first floor or the second floor this is a guided tour with your real estate agent we ask that all people in the tour, during the tour, stay together and be guided from room to room. The worst scenario is when you come into the home, the husband heads to the basement, the wife and kids go to the kitchen, some of the children go all the way upstairs, and it's just chaos. The agent is responsible for you while you're in the home. They're responsible for taking you through the home with uneventful meaning not knocking things down etc um so definitely decide where you want to start your tour as a family or as the people home buyers and let your agent know and she will take you through the tour or he will take you through the tour through the home all together in a guided tour room by room okay so that's one thing. Now, the other thing that we ask you not to do is sit on furniture. Sometimes the home seller will go to the point of writing out a note saying, please do not sit on our furniture. <laughs> so we always advise don't sit on the furniture. When you come in, if there's something that is, if you're feeling like you have to sit down, we advise that you go out to your car and sit down and get some rest if you need to, if you have a dis disability or whatever circumstance that leads you to want to sit down. But while you're in the home, do not sit on people's furniture, okay? So now the other um, item, other thing that we wanna discuss is personal property. If it's not going to be sold with the house, meaning it's an attached to the house that you're buying, it's personal property, so don't touch it. Don't go around touching people's photographs or moving items in the home because you want to take a look at their personal property. If it doesn't go with the home, you don't need to look at it. Just focus on the house, the space, and everything will be fine. All right, so um, so the other thing is when you're in the home and you feel like you um, are done and maybe others are not finished looking at the property, we advise that whoever's done can go sit outside in the car and wait for the rest of the people to be done if they don't want to be a participant in the tour because sometimes you find one person has is has gone around and it's fine they're on the guided tour but they're they've seen enough they know they don't like it but somebody else might be looking at it so we ask that you be respectful and let everyone get their questions answered bef before you leave the home okay so um, usually the tour will start indoors and then after the indoor tour is finished, your agent will send, take you outside for an exterior tour of the home, including the garage, the yard, show you the lot, what part of it is uh, goes with the house, what the lot is for that house. 
We advise the same thing, stick together. We don't want the kids like pulling out tomatoes or knocking down items that are outside. So the exterior tour will also be a guided tour. And so when you're done, everyone gets in the car and you hit for the next home. Before you leave the, the um, tour for that particular house, we advise that you um, also bring a little garbage bag or something to keep, put all the dirty stuff in there, your gloves, and then use your hand sanitizers and off you go to the next one. And if you do this and you follow these tips, trust me, it will be an uneventful but organized flowing property tour. And this is what we want. We want to be able to come into the home, be respectful of people's property, go through the home, ask our questions, and then leave. Leaving the house the way you found it. <laughs> all right, so that's all I have for you today. If this is your first time joining, welcome. Please subscribe if you have not. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions or you want any other type of video content produced for you, let me know down below and I will reply. So I usually upload videos on Wednesdays once a week, but whenever I feel like I have the inspiration, I turn on my camera and I upload videos. So be on the lookout for interesting topics around real estate. So again, thanks for joining. Make it a great day. Bye.